Hey everyone, Miranda Patron here with you. I've had a bunch of people ask me to do a video quick on the ceramics that I'm using again for the molds. So I get mine from Capital Ceramics. It's the Potter's Plaster, the High Strength 20. And it's white. The gypsum I think is a little browner, grayish. And so for this one, it's just half a cup of water to one cup of the ceramic powder. And that will fill two of the number three molds from the Happy Dotting Company. These are the smaller mandala molds. Or it'll fill one of the hearts. The amount that you get from the one half cup of water and the one cup of plaster. So I usually just use a flexible plastic container and that way afterwards you're not using it in your sink because if you do this in your sink after it's going to clog your pipes so what I do is I wait for it to dry and then I just crack the pieces out to clean my bowl and then I actually use one of my one of the baby spoons to just because it's easy and small and I can just crack the plaster off of that after as well so I usually pour my water in first and personally I use warm water just because I feel like it dissolves um, the plaster better smoother um, and that way too you're not it you're not having it start to harden in your bowl while you're stirring it up and mixing it okay so Sometimes, too, I have a little bit of plaster left over just because I'm not, I don't pack it in or scrape it off perfectly to measure it. So I have other little silicone molds that I've picked up along the way and I just make magnets out of them, paintable magnets. I just glue a magnet onto the back. So these were the little footprints from the last batch, paw prints. All right, so I have my water in, I have my molds ready. And now I need my plaster. So it's one cup of plaster. And like I said, I don't, I just kind of shake it till it's settled. I don't scrape it with a knife or anything just because I don't mix my utensils in with it. But And then I just kind of pour it in slowly the first, this is a half cup measuring, just so I can get most of the lumps out. Kind of like you're making a roux for gravy. <laughs> For those of you cooks. And I stir fairly quickly just because I want it to blend in there. I'll get my second half cup. And I've been on the hunt for a plastic container that's flexible like this that has a spigot or a spout like the pouring measuring cup. So if if any of you know that or have seen ones like that, I would love to know. I keep checking the dollar store and whatnot, but <clears throat> I think it would be easier to pour into the molds if it had a spout, but that's just a matter of convenience. And depending on how slovenly you are, because <laughs> I'm a total slob sometimes, and I like to make a mess when I'm doing the art. If I'm creating actually a lot of things, I just make a mess, so. All right, so you can see it's fairly thick, but not super watery. Oh, see, I got a lump there. So I just want to try to make sure I get most of the lumps out. And I'm not too vigorous just because I don't want a lot of bubbles in it either. So that way we get a good mix going. Okay, so here are my molds. And I do it a little slower because I want to make sure it just settles in there good. Just kind of tap it with my spoon and get it right to the top there because this open circle is actually going to be the bottom of the stone you're making. Another thing I, I personally do, and the warm water thing, it doesn't say to do that anywhere, 
it doesn't say you have to do this this either I just like to kind of tap the bottom to make sure that it spreads because if you get any lumps or anything that way it'll spread into the spaces of your mold and you can see it's popping the bubbles too so they come and they rise to the surface and then pop so this one's a little bit over which is not the end of the world once the mold pops out I can just sand that down and actually somebody in one of the groups had a fabulous idea of cutting out pieces of felt to put on the bottoms which I absolutely love that idea and I wish I knew the name of the lovely lady who came up with it because I would love to credit her it is not my idea <laughs> and I'm definitely going to try it out so when you get these ones out after they dry this ceramic these ones probably I don't know 40 minutes if that and I was already able to pop them out of the mold see how there's a little lip that's what I'm gonna get probably with that one because I overfilled it a little bit this one hopefully is a little flatter but you know it's not the end of the world it's a spot on the bottom that you can kind of sand down if you want it exactly level with the rest of your um, stone you can sand it down and see I did get some bubbles in this one too but as far as I'm concerned it's on the bottom I'm not painting that side I wasn't too worried about it and these ones also have your center dot put in there for you so blessings again and thank you to the Happy Dotting Company once again for wonderful molds. And so I'm just going to let those sit, and then when they are done, I will pop them out. And I didn't have any left over this time to have to use my molds, so my other little guys. All right, so I hope you all found that helpful, and I hope that you have a great day.